channel and today I'm going to teach you some steam-tastic bubble art. Now, let's not kid ourselves. Bubbles are awesome. I don't care if you're three, I don't care if you're 93 years old, there's something so fun about bubbles. So let's get started. Can you make bubbles just by using water? Think about it. The answer is yes. Have you ever used a straw at dinner to blow bubbles in your drink? When we add dish soap or bubble solution to the water, we can create a bubble that is stronger and can last longer. But no matter what, it's still a bubble. It's still just your air trapped inside a thin film. In this simple experiment called Bubble Trouble, I've filled a cookie sheet with water and dish soap. You can blow into the water with a straw. Can you make a bubble snake? How many tiny bubbles can you blow? Can you make a bubble inside of a bubble? And how big can you blow a bubble? I'm going to try to blow a huge one. For pop art, I've covered my entire table with paper. I'll need drinking straws, a container for the solution, liquid dish soap, water, and food coloring. This has four different colors in it. I'll start by pouring food coloring into the container. I will use a different color for each cup. I like to use a muffin container because it allows me to make several different colors at once. And it allows the kids a way to mix the colors if they choose to do that later on. Next, I'll add the liquid dish soap to each cup. I put a fair amount into each one. Then I will add the water. I fill up each cup almost to the top. And this is all you need for the solution. Mix each cup very well to turn it into a solid bubble solution. And when the solution is ready, it's time to go. You can use anything to blow bubbles. Here I only use one straw, but I also like to tape several straws together and blow bubbles out of four or five straws at once. If your child is young and might inhale the liquid, I recommend using an empty toilet paper roll or a bubble wand. Whoa, cool. For bubble wrap, you will need a container for the solution, some water, different colors of paints. I use washable tempura paints for this one, liquid soap, some straws or other mechanisms to blow bubbles, and of course some white paper. First, I'll start by putting paint in each of the cups. Again, I use a muffin container because it allows me to make several different colored solutions at one time, and it allows my child to mix paints if he wants to. Next, I will add a little dish soap to each of the cups. Then, a scoop of water to each cup filling it almost to the top. Then I stir each cup to create a solution. Stir well so that it's mixed up. And finally, time to blow bubbles. Blow bubbles into each cup, creating
creating a bubble overflow. Then I grab my white paper, place it on top of the bubbles, and you can see the bubble patterns on the paper. Here I also use my toilet paper roll to blow bubbles onto the paper. You can also use the roll to stamp onto the paper. 